Well, this is a poem taken from the book of fairy poems, which, as you can see, is a rather um, ancient Victorian copy. This is the poem is called "The Kelpie of Corrie Vrecken" and it's by Charles Mackay, um, and dates sometime prior to 1876. The Kelpie of Corrie Vrecken. He mounted his steed of the water clear, and sat on his saddle of seaweed sear. He held his bridle of strings of pearl, dug out of the depths where the sea snakes curl. He put on his vest of the whirlpool froth, soft and dainty as velvet cloth, and donned his mantle of sand so white, and grasped his sword of the coral bright, and away he galloped a horseman free, spurring his steed the stormy sea, clearing the billows with bound and leap. Away, away, o'er oh, the foaming deep, by Scarborough's rock, by Lunga's shore, by Garvalock's isle where the breakers roar, with his horse's hooves he dashed the spray, and on to Lochbay, away, away. On to Lochbay he all day he rode, and he reached the shore as sunset glowed, and stopped to hear the sounds of joy that rose from the hills and the glens of Moy. The morrow was May, and on the green that lit the fire of Beltane Een, and danced around and piled it high with peat and heather and pine logs dry. A piper played a lightsome reel and timed the dance with toe and heel, while wives looked on as lad and lass trod it merrily o'er the grass. And Jessie, fickle and fair was she, set with Evan beneath a tree, and smiled with mingled love and pride, and half agreed to be his bride. The Kelpie galloped o'er the green, he seemed a knight of noble mien, and old and young stood up to see, and wondered who the knight could be. His flowing locks were auburn bright, his cheeks were ruddy, his eyes flashed light, and as he sprang from his good grey steed, he looked a gallant youth indeed. And Jessie's fickle heart beat high, as she caught the stranger's glancing eye, and when he smiled, ah, oh, well, she thought, I wish this night came courting me. He took two steps towards her seat. Wilt thou be mine, O oh maiden sweet? He took her lily-white hand and sighed, O oh maiden, maiden, be my bride. And Jessie blushed and whispered soft, Meet me tonight when the moon's aloft. I've dreamed, fair night, long time of thee. I thought thou camest courting me. When the moon her yellowed horn displayed, Alone to the trysting went the maid, When all the stars were shining bright, Alone to the trysting went the night. I have loved thee long, I have loved thee well, maiden, oh, more than words can tell. Maiden, thine eyes like diamonds shine, maiden, maiden, be thou mine. Fair sir, thy suit I'll ne'er deny, though poor my lot, my hopes are high. I scorn a lover of low degree, none but a knight shall marry me. He took her by the hand so white, and gave her a ring of the gold so bright. Maiden, whose eyes like diamonds shine, maiden, maiden, now thou'rt mine. He lifted her on his steed of grey, and they rode till morning, away, away, o'er the mountains and o'er the moor, and o'er the rocks to the dark sea shore. We have ridden east, we have ridden west, I am weary, fellow knight, and I fain would rest. 
Say, is thy dwelling beyond the sea? Hast thou a good ship waiting for me? I have no dwelling beyond the sea. I have no good ship waiting for thee. Thou shalt sleep with me on a couch of foam, and the depth of the ocean shall be thy home. The grey steed plunged in the billows clear, and the maiden's shrieks were sad to hear. Maiden, whose eyes like diamonds shine, maiden, maiden, now thou art mine. Loud the cold sea blast did blow, as they sank mid the angry waves below, down to the rocks where the serpents creep. Twice five hundred fathoms deep. At morn, a fisherman sailing by saw her pale corpse floating high. He knew the maid by her yellow hair and her lily skin so soft and fair. Under a rock on Scarborough shore, where the wild winds sigh and the breakers roar, they dug her a grave by the water clear. Among the seaweed salt and sear. And every year at Beltane Inn, The Kelpie gallops across the green On a steed as fleet as the wintry wind, With Jessie's mournful ghost behind.